Okay, we're up to the Mishnah on the Aflamid Aleph Amid Aleph. Very nice block, not too difficult. I got it a little I got it. Now we spoke at yesterday about a person who the Chacham made a very interesting takana in order to go ahead and facilitate people lending money to Kahanim, Leviim, and Aniim, who ordinarily they would not be so prone to go ahead and, and, and people would not give loans to. Because why, how are they going to get paid back? So to ensure that, what they did was they would go ahead and say that you could pay back with Trumis Maisa on you, Maiserishan. And therefore, built into the system was the loan. Today, we're going to go ahead and we said that, how do we get into that? That you can go ahead and eat, sell or your, your Truma with Chazaka that this coin is around. We saw how in the Saka, whether it's Makiri Kahuna, Saka Idea Achairim, or Oisemisha in the different ways how you go ahead and, and, you, uh, and you earn it. And you, and, you, and you go ahead and he gets it. So today we're going to, and then we, you can separate the Kessel Suchayim. Today we're going to speak about a person who is separating Truman Misa from another place. Now, how do you ensure, let's say, that it's, it's intact, that you can go ahead and do that? So we said it's a Chazaka that it's intact. Right. Says the Mishnah. Right. A person leaves a place for Paris that he can go ahead and separate Trumas and Meister. In other words, he's in Chicago and in New York, he's, he says he's separating in Chicago. Well, I, actually, I should give Eric to throw, right? He's in, he's in Tveria and his stuff is in Yerushalayim, right? And he's separating in Tveria, saying that this is up to shape on the stuff that's in Yerushalayim and Ma'ais Liyais Ma'afashalayim Ma'ais and money that he should go ahead and say the kedusha of this meiser sheni is on the on that money, and he'll take it to Yushalayim. Mafish aleim becheska shein kayamim. He can be mafish with the chazaka that they're still around, and we don't worry that what that maybe it got lost. Maybe it, it for example, let's say the uh, the next case is wine. So uh, in and im avdu, and let's say it's lost. Let's say he comes and lo and behold, the wine soured. Lo and behold, the, the, the rats ate up his his uh, his Paris, and it's not there anymore. Till how far back does he have to be chayish that the stuff that he tithed is untithed? Harizeh chayishes meish la'es twenty four hours. We're gonna have machlekes in the Gemara. He's twenty four hours from when he found it, or twenty four hours from the time he put it what when he put it down, or twenty four hours from the time he if he put it down in April, twenty four hours. You know, April 1st, April 2nd. Well, no, if you found it in May 3rd, 24 hours before May 3rd. You know, go, which way are you going this way or that way? This is the words of Rabbi Lazar ben Shamua. Rabbi Yehuda Aimer, Rabbi Yehuda says, and this is a new din, three times a year, you're going to go ahead and you're going to check out the ayin. Three times a year, you're going to check out yayin to make sure it didn't become vinegar, because you can't take off truma from wine on vinegar. Right, one of the three times of the year is Bikidim Shal Maitse Achag, when the Kidim is the east wind, when it blows the, the, after what it, it, the Maitse of, of Sukkis. When it blows the Maitse Sukkis, that, that's the time. A second time is Baitzlar Smadar, when the right. flowers fall off and you begin to see the buds, right, at that time. Ubishas Knisas Mayim Baitzer, the time where the unripened grapes over the season, they didn't get ripened, and the moisture begins to get absorbed in the grape, those are the three times a person should check. Those are the three times a person should check. Now, based upon yesterday's Gemara, this would seem to be problematic. Now, we said yesterday, a chavar does not go ahead and separate shaloi min amukif. In other words, when you take off shumus and meiser, you're going to take it off from that that's in, juxtaposed to it, next to it, not that something's in a different place. So how in the world is this mission talking about, like I gave you a case, you're in Tiveri and Yushalayim, how is he mean Torah and Shalayim and Amukif? It's not around there. How could he do that, right? We had that terrorist yesterday, we even like that, the, the problem with that shot. Anyway, if you look at Tysus, the third Tysus in the bottom, Hamaniach Peris Liyais Mafish Olayim, but Arve Shabbos is It's speaking on Erev Shabbos and Yontif. It's speaking on Erev Shabbos and Yontif. The Shari Shalayim and Amukif. Then at that time, it's permitted shaloi min At that time, in other words, we saw earlier in the Masech, remember the famous case of what of Breiro or Shemi Yibak Hanoid. It was Erev Shabbos and he didn't have Kalim and he wanted to go ahead and separate. He said that Shtei Loigim from the hundred should be Truma and Vait, right? But we see that that the Chachamim, they were a little more makel to ensure that we have 
our Oynik Shabbos, that we have food and drink for Shabbos. So this is another example of Shabbos and Yontif, where if you don't go ahead and shade up, you won't be able to go ahead and do it on, on, on uh, Shabbos because of the Gezerah of, it's similar to Tikkun Mono, it's similar that you, you, you're, you're correcting something. So to go ahead and make sure that you, everything is, they will make all that what, even a Chava could go ahead and be Tarim Shalem and Amokah. Guys, good? Guys, good? You good? Okay, good. Again, this is based upon yesterday. Now, it says, me, me ace la ace. Now, what does me ace la ace mean? So I'll give you two shots. Let, let's go ahead and foreshadow the Gemara. You went ahead and you've been, you've been taking off constantly, constantly. Every Shabbos for a, for a whole year, for a half a year, you've been taking off. In September, you set aside this, 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 this stuff. Let's, let's pick wine. You set aside the wine in September. And you've been taking off every Arab Shabbos, any chance you got, and you forgot you went ahead and you took off. Now you come in January and you notice that it's vinegar. At which point in time do we say it's vinegar that when you did tithe, when you did shade up, it didn't work? At which point in time? Says the first opinion. The opinion is what? Is ace the ace of the Bedika. In other words, you go back 24 hours in January. 24 hours from January. Anything in that time period will say what is not is tevel. You didn't go ahead and take off the proper Trumas Misa. Anything before that 24 hour period will say is okay. It's been up your shake correctly. That's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is you go back to September and 24 hours from September 1st to 2nd, meaning according to that opinion, you're going to have all the Trumas and Misa that you took off for those six months. You're, it's not considered wild up the shape. Those are the two shot and the way to look at it. My mace, the ace of Yechonom, and mace, the ace shall bedika from the bedika that you did in my scenario in January. Rabbi Lozav and Antignus, I remember Shum Rabbi Lozav, Bet Lozav of Yana, he's a lot of Rabbi Lozav today. It's fascinating. You have Rabbi Lozav and Shemu in the Mishnah, you have Rabbi Lozav and Antignus in the name of Rabbi Lozav and Bayana. It's fascinating, guys. And then we're going to have the Amoy Rabbi Lozav and Padas also commenting. It's like, I wonder. I wonder. It's. It, I'm. I'm wondering. There must be a connection. Like the names. It's interesting. From the what? from the time you went ahead and left the Paris there, which was what in September in the scenario that I presented. Now, Tanan, we're going to ask a question on the latter shot. Im avdu if it's lost, meaning let's say it became vinegar. You're going to be chayish from a 24-hour period. It's going to be from a 24-hour period. Shapir. One meaning that you're going to go back until that, that, that you're going to start counting may ace la ace. It should not say may ace la ace. It should say ad may ace la ace me boiling. It should say the Mishnah should say for a 24-hour period. It shouldn't say for, it should say until the 24-hour period. In other words, you're going from September until May Ace the Ace, September 2nd, not May Ace the Ace from where you are now. And therefore, it seems to be, it makes more sense according to the Pshat of Rev of Rabbi Yochanan in the right, and rather than the Pshat of Rabbi Loza ben Atignis, as the Gemara comments and says, Kasha in Achinami, it's Shver. Like the man the Oma, it should be Ad May Ace the Ace up until, but May Ace the Ace is from a 24 hour period, meaning from a 24 hour period now. Adme Eis means up until that 10, 24 hour period, so September 1st till September 2nd. Rebbe, um, Rebbe, Dibri Rebbe Laza. Now this is Rebbe Laza ben Shamur. Guys, it, it's, uh, this is Rebbe Laza ben Shamur. And Amr Rebbe Laza is Rebbe Laza ben Padas. It's interesting. We just had this Gemara, the same dialogue. We had this, the same thing earlier, not too long ago, where, where I had to tell you the distance between Rebbe Laza ben Shamur, the Tana, and Rebbe Laza ben Padas, the Amoira. Chaluk and Lov Chaber al Rebbe Laza. They argued on, 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 on Rebbe Laza. They, they argued. Again, again, what what does it say in the Mishnah that you choshes me ace la ace, right? The twenty four hour period, but it's chaveru mechoshes, meaning did not mikvah shenimdad. You had a mikvah and you went ahead and you, and you did a lot of tires in this mikvah. Mikvah, you met tire Caleb in the mikvah, you met tire people in the mikvah, and and it was a mikvah. However, now you measure it, the nimtza chaser, and you find it's a quart short. You don't have forty saw. Call Tahire Shinasu Al Gabov, any tyrus that was done in this mikvah, says Rashi, called Shumois, Utahirois, Shenishamshu Behen, Bikalim, Ve Anoshin, 
whether it's men or whether it's people or kalim, shetavlu to mason, voice and mikvah me'olam, guess what? When are you going to go back to? You're going to go back to what? All the way back. So, mikvah shenimda minzuchasa, kol tayrish shenasu agav of lumafreya, anything lumafreya. Bein b'shus hayachid, where we say suffix tuma b'shus hayachid sveikai tamei, that we learn out from Saita. Bein b'shus harabim, that we learn out from Ali Allah HaMash Misinai, Everything is to be Tomei. Now, we'll see why in a second. So, L'Chaira, obviously, if you hold over here, you find this is a quote short, you're going to say everything is bottle. then our mission as well. If you find it's vinegar, you should say from the time you laid the vinegar, it's bottle. That, in other words, Rebbe says, says, and the, the Tana of the Mishnah of Mikvah would say everything, any anything you, you went ahead and and, and Separated shumus and ma'isa that you tied will not be good. You're going back again. We're saying a mikvah from the beginning of its time. We're going to say if you go ahead, giving our example, you check the mikvah in September. Now it's January. You're going to say anything that transpired, any any person that went in the mikvah, any any, any all is going to be tummy. So the same thing over here. If you find you separated the wine in September and you found it vinegar in January, you should go back to September. So clearly, Rabbi Elazar, who said we only go back 24 hour period, is arguing what on is arguing on on the, the on, on this mandiyama. He'd be arguing on, on this mandiyama. So the Gemara says, Pshita, you're right. He talk it. Pshita the chalukim. So I would have thought, Ma'il mafreya. What does mafreya mean? Me eis la eis. In other words, when it said you go back mafreya, means me eis la eis. Kamash malon means go back the whole time. That's the kiddush of. Of Rabbi Lazar and Padas. Don't think Mafreya means only 24 hour period, it means going back all the way. Now, just one point of contention. Why, if we pass in Sufik Tumma Vishus Harabim Sveikai Tahar, why over here is the Tame? Bain Bain Sveika Vishus Harabim, or Shusa Yachid, Bain Sveika Vishus Harabim is Tame. We just did the Sech the Saita. And we clearly saw, we learned out Saita that what the Saita is in Bishus Arab Yachid, and we call it Vitimea. Good. So I understand why the suffix Tame. But we also learned how Lacham Hashem Sinai that Bishus Arab and Sveika is Tar. Why is Tame? So let's see Rashi, guys. Bain Bishus Arabim, the Kaimlan Sveika is Tar. Even though we pass in Suffolk Tum Bishus Arab and Sveika is Tar, Hacha Tame. Here we're going to say it's Tame. The Chiyam Rinan Suffolk Tum Bishus Arab and Tahar, when do we say Suffolk Tumma Bishus Arabim is Tahar? I knew Suffolk Naga, Suffolk Lod Naga. I'm not sure whether I touched it or not. You find the Sheretz next to Tyrus. I don't know if we touched it or not. Speko is going to be Tame. Well, you need, you need a person to ask. Remember, it has to be someone to ask like Saita. The Ikel and Neymar, Loy Naga. Avozesh, Ahoya Tame Vadai, but this, that he was Tame Vadai and he went in the mitvah, the Asa, Bala Taroy, Bitfila Suffolk. Al Tarenim is Suffolk. Fellas, when do you say Suffolk Tumma Bishus Arab and Sveikai Tahar? It's contracting the Tumma. If it's a Shaila when I contracted the Tumma, we'll say Sveikai is Tahar. But the Shaila when I, I know I'm Tame and it's a Suffolk whether I'm Tahar, then we don't apply the rule. It's a very nice distinction, right? By Bishus Arabim, if I'm a Suffolk whether it's Tame or Tahar, Sveikai Tahar. Just like the site is a Suffolk, right? It's a suffix whether she did or she did. If, if the suffix is in Rosh Hashanah, it's Sveikai Tame. Rosh Hashanah, it's Sveikai Tar, because I don't know whether she did or she did. Over here, what's the suffix? The suffix is whether you're Tahar or not. Zicha, you're Tame. Now the Shail is your Tahar or not. The Mela, Bein Rosh Hashanah, Bein Rosh Hashanah, Sveikai is, is Tame. Guys, Gishmak HaChilak, yes? Thumbs up? Bobblehead? Very nice. Very nice. Nice to get. Okay. Says Gemara Baik. Now we know that there's Tkufis. The Kufis is the equinox, right? And the solstice. That we break up 91 days and, and seven something. Right? We break it up the 365, we divide it. Okay, now, it seems that most of the time that uh, Sukkis falls out in the in Tkufis Tishrei, right? Not Tkufis Tamas, which is the, you know, Tkufis Tishrei is what we call the fall equinox. Usually it falls out right in the summer solstice. So now, Abihuda, it says, that says that what Rabbi Huda Oimer the Gimel Prokim they would go ahead and check, and one of the ways they checked was if the east wind blew Moitzichag, 
Tana, Bikidim Shal Moitzia Chag Shal Tkufa. It has to be that what? That of the Kufa. Right? It has to be of the Tkufa. What is the Tkufa, Rashi? Him Tvay Nichnas of Tkufa's Tishrei. Right? It's got to be that you're ready in the four equinots in Tishrei. Ava Moshka Tkufa's Tamas. Right? Ava Moshka, if it goes ahead and Tkufa's Tamas goes ahead and goes, in other words, if it Sukkis falls out very early, and you're still in the Tukufa of, of the summer solstice, then we don't say this rule. We only say this rule where it falls in the Tukufa of Tishrei. Good? Tesis has a problem. How do you find it out? If you look at top Tesis, the Kedem Shal Maitzi Chag Shal Tukufa, Shal Tukufa's Tishrei. Avo Moshka Tukufa's Tamas Adkan. Like, but if, 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 the, if the summer solstice went into the Maitzi Chag, then not. Tim Taima. Vay Efsha Shetim Shaykh Adkan. You never find that what that it lasts that long. I mean in Parakamid Sanhedrin, the Bein in Mixus Achad with Kufis Chadasha. You need part of the Chag to be in Kufis Tishrei. The Shlomar, the Oma Stam, the Oma Hosom, the Alt Kufa Lubada in Ma'arvin. In other words, the point is that if, guys, we will go ahead and make another Ada to ensure. That Pesach falls out into the Kufas of Aviv, right? In Nisan. Right? We won't do that by Nisan. We won't do it. Tosis is saying, even if what it doesn't, we won't go ahead and telling you that we won't go ahead and adjust the calendar to ensure it should. That's the Kiddush over here. That even though generally we find that it never, the summer sources never extends that much, it, but we'll never go ahead and make the calendar longer to ensure that Sukkah should fall out in the Kuf of Tishrei. That's the Kiddush over here. Okay, back in the Gemara. So the three times were what we said. The three times. The first one was what by the by the the, the wind might say chag, and the second one was what by the 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 second one was by the 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 when the leaves fall off and you have the buds, and when the after the season's over, when the you had the unripened grapes and the and the water would go into the unripened grapes. Okay, says the Gemara Baita. Right, three times you would go ahead what, and they would sell tefua. The three times what they would go ahead what, and they would they would sell tefua. Lefnei azera before the planting, right? Ubishasa azera and during the planting. Tosis points out that what that it seems to be the same time. Tamas is Tosis and calls it with perikaf it's one time. The Yishleimar the bishas azera who soif azera means that at the end shekavai zora kol ma shohayu lachem and ischasa lachem and you're missing. In other words, you don't have enough. So it's, it's the end of the season, not the beginning of the season. And when Pesach comes, which is 15 days before Pesach, three times a year, you, you sell your wine. Again, the same thing. With 50, we want to make sure you have wine for Pesach, 15 days before Pesach. 15 days before Shavuos. 15 days before the Sukkot. Again, you want to make sure you have wine for the Shalash Regalim. The shemen may add seres ve'elach and, and oil. You can go ahead and sell. These are just again. They, they would seasonally. They would ensure that shemen would be there and wine would be there. The my helcha. So what's the halacha that you know you can sell? Amar Ravvi Tamer Papa Lishutafim. All right, Lishutafim. <clears throat> Let's say I have a partnership with Dove, and the season of, of of selling the stuff approaches, and I sell it, and now it goes up in price. Dove can't come with a tiny to me. One second. I didn't give you a right to sell this. We would have made more money had we waited. Since this is the time of selling, I can sell without, and, and, I, and Dove can't have a tiny on me that while I cost them money, because had we waited, it would have went up in price. Mashma, if it's the season that is not these times of the year, and a, a shutif would sell it and would take a loss because it went up in price, then the other shutif would, in fact, what, have a tiny. It's put down la Okay, so fascinating. Makan right? After these these times, these, these these specific times, can you go ahead? Can one partner? Can I sell it without dove? Amarava kol yuma pirkahavde, right? Every day after these times, every day after these times, then you're able to go ahead and sell. That's what it seems to say. Every day after these times, you're able to go ahead and and, and sell. Means. Okay. 
Amar Rava, okay, says the Gemara, Vayihi, now we get a little, we're going to discuss the winds. We said one of the things was, was the winds, we're going to go ahead and discuss the winds. So we said that the wind blows at that time. Okay. Vayihi kizroya hashemesh, it says Vayoyna, it was when the sun is shown. Vayiman elakim ruach kodim charishis. And Kodesh Baruch Hu prepared a strong east wind. But notice the word strong is the Lushen of Harishis, like the Lushen of Chayresh, which is plowing. The Gemara wants to know, my Harishis, why don't you use just the word Chazak? Why use the word It's a very interesting term. Some of Yehuda, it's when the wind blows so powerfully that the wind, it makes in the seas like furrows of, 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 of like, like plowing in the seas. That's when, that's how Hashem blew by Yaina. Amalei Rava, Ihachi. If it says that what kind of the chsiv, but pach Hashemesh al roish yoyna vayisalef, and the sun it was beating down on his head and yoyna fainted, right? So it's mashma that it's not a strong wind; it's mashma it's a hot wind, right? It's mashma he's fainted from the heat, not from the strength of the wind. So therefore, charoshes can possibly mean making furrows like strong. So el alosh charata amaraba. What does charoshes mean? When this wind blows, the lotion of not of chayresh of plowing, but cheresh of silent, right? Like a cheresh right of the cotton. When this wind blows, it cools off other the winds. It's such a strong wind, the, the wind from the east is so powerfully hot, it cools off other other ones. Mishtatekes means they lose their kayak, they're quiet, and that's the lotion of chayreshes. And that's what it says. Your clothing is hot. When the earth is quiet from the south. What does that mean? When, are you, when is it hot? When the, you don't get the cool wind from the south. Why don't you get the cool wind from the south? Because the east wind is heating it up. Because when the east wind blows, so therefore, the heat of the, the coolness of the south wind, you don't feel because of the heat of the east wind. Rav Huna, Rav Chista, Haviyasa, Rav Huna, Rav Chista, they were sitting. And we met Geneva earlier in the Masechta, on Dav Zion. Geneva, was, he was going ahead and he was bothering Marukva. Marukva wanted to know whether he could give him over to the Malchus. He ended up being taken out in chains. Anyway, but he seems he was a Talmud Chacham. So Rav Huna, Rav Chista, Haviyasa, they were sitting. And who passed by? Geneva. One said to the other, Let's stand up, right? We'll cover that Taira. Because he's Bar Arayin. He's a, he's a, he's a Taira, took a person. So one said to the other, right? A person that is argumentative. He, used to, he was going ahead and sharing my look, but we should stand up for him. Before they, wherever they stood up, they didn't stand up. Bottom line is, Geneva shows up. And he and he speaks to Rav Huna Rav Kista. Amalhu, he told the great things of Rav Huna Rav Kista. He said to them, "But my as, as, askitu, what are you being dealing? What are you learning with?" Amalei Baruchais, we're discussing winds. Amalhem Hachi Amar Rav Kana Baraba Amar Rav Dal Baruchas Min Hashemes Bechol Yom. There are four winds that blow every day. Baruch to find this Min Hashemes and Kulon. You have the north wind blowing with all of them. Shall Mali Kain? If you don't have the north wind blowing with all of them, ain't all the Meskayim Achilu Shachas. Now you might remember the north wind. That's why in the midbar it didn't blow. Right, it didn't blow enough. That's why they could have the brismila all the years in the midbar. They didn't go on the brismila because it seems the north wind brought healing. And since it didn't blow to the extent they needed it, or they didn't blow at all, it didn't go. They didn't. They had to wait to go to Eretz to be gamalit. Ruach joined this question. The cool and the most difficult wind is, is the south wind. The Malay ben Nets Mamida, if not for a malach called Ben Nets, Nets means a hawk. It was a malach Ben Nets who would block the, the southern wind. The Chareves Kolayim Kulo Mipanel would go ahead and destroy the whole world. Again, we don't understand these Ruchais, the idea of them, but certainly they have powerful, powerful connotations. Now, how do you know Ben Netz protects the world from the south wind? Shinemar, it says, Habi Minischa Ya Ber Netz Yifresh Knafa Pateman. Habi Minaschka means from Yechachma, right? Ya Ber Netz, the Netz goes ahead, the, the hawk, it goes ahead and Yifresh Knafa Pateman, it spreads its wings to what? To the south. So you see, it's this bed nates with its wing, with, with, wings is protecting from the south wind. So we just had a maisa with Rav Huna and Rav, Rav Chista sitting with Geneva. Now we have another maisa. Rav of Rav Nachman by Yitzchak Kavayasvi. They were sitting. Have a cholif Rav Nachman by Yaakov. 
And Rav Nachman by Yaakov, he passed by. And the Yosef Bigu Harkta did the Hava. And he was sitting in, in a carriage that was made of gold. He had some type of, of trailistic of Karsi is like it's like a greenish blue, some type of garment on him. And Rava Ozlagade, Rava went out to meet him. Rav Nachman by Yitzhak Loy Ozlagade. Rav Nachman by Yitzhak, he did not go out to meet him, right? He, he didn't he did not go out to meet him. So by Yitzhak Loy Ozlagade, he he did not go out to meet him. Now Rav Nachman by Yitzhak, according to Rashi, was the son in law of the Resh Galusa. So he didn't go to greet him. Why? Oh my Dilma me inch the bay Resh Galusa Ninu. Now he didn't know it was a Nachim by by Bar. He didn't know it was a Nachim by Yitzchok, uh, Nachim by Yaakov sitting in this wagon. He thought it was Stam, a person that the Reish Galusa was giving cover to. So he didn't go to greet him. And Robert Sarchlu, Rava needed them, but I know I Rav Nachim by Yitzchok. I know I don't need them. I don't need them because again, because I am either according to Rashi, I am uh, Reish Galusa according to Tosis because I'm wealthy. Could the Chazid Rav Nachim by Yitzchok have? However. When Rav Nachman Yitzchak saw that it was the great Rav Nachman Yaakov, then Ozl Gabe, he went to meet him also again. When he thought it was just a person, you know, Lifi Kavid was going in a nice car and with a nice garment, then he didn't go to meet him. He didn't need to, to, to kiss up to him. Shane Kane, well, when he found out that he was uh, the great Rav Nachman by Yaakov, of course he went out to greet him. So Goliad, Rav Nachman Yitzchak was very hot and he went ahead, he, he pulled up his, his, his garment and Omri said, Shad Yenashif, that the, 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 the Shad is blowing. Shadi, they touched it. This is being this 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 hot wind is blowing this carriage. So he was hot. So that is speaking about winds. Amarava, Hachi Amarav, Ishema Pelis boy, because of the the strength of the east wind, a woman can miscarry. Ushmul Amar, Afilu Mar Golim Shebayo Mar Kevis boy. Even the pearls in the sea, they can go ahead and be they can rot as a result. Rabbi Yochan says, Afilu Shich Vazerish Be Ima Misereches boy. Even Sheikh Vazera, which for the first three days is 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 uh, potent. The first three days after after inception, after after via, right? It it, it, it will go ahead. This we we swim will destroy it. Amr of Nachman by Yitzchak says of Nachman by Yitzchak, who shleish the mikro echad darsha. They all dash from the same pasuk. Ki hu bein achim yafri yovay kadim ruach Hashem and midbar oila beyevish mikoray and the gimel is important, right? The yechrav me anyanoi. Okay, let's see what this verse means. Now, when it says that its spring became dry, refers to the spring of the woman, the, the woman's rechem that became dry. What does it mean? Dry, right? The shech vazera should be isha. The shech vazera that's there. Who yisha oitzer kol klichemda? It goes ahead. It's yisha the oitzer. It goes ahead and it steals from all the precious treasures. So my galus so this is the illusion from this pasuk to the strength of the east wind. Amarava, Adi Surahu, This came from the Sura, from the Tamil Chacham of Sura. Daiti Kra. Look at the pasuk. Mahu Mahu Bein Achim Yafi. What's the difference between the brothers who are fruitful? Amarava, Amar Aleph, Afilu Shukta Bikupinya Demora Rapia. When you have a, a hoe and you have the the wooden handle in the hoe, right? It's going to go ahead and become loose because of the east, east wind. Rabbi Yosef Amma, I feel a sixer with Daphne Rafia. Even if you have a yesed, a peg in the wall, it's going to come, the east wind is going to loosen it. Rabbi Achaba Yaakov Amma, I feel a kanya the kufsa. Even a, a basket that's woven, it'll become loose because of the east wind. Hajjalacha kolaget, hajjalacha kolaget, hajjalacha kolaget. And I wish everyone a great Shabbos.